Show Me Friar Basketball. John Rook and Joe Hasek back trying to cut through the fog in our memories over the last 30 years of doing the broadcasts uh, on the Providence Friars on local radio. One player, though, that certainly stood out in terms of his ability just to create, just to score, kind of like Eric Murdoch before, mm -hmm. kind of like Ryan Gomes as well, Marshawn Brooks. We specifically remember the night that he scored 52 against Notre Dame inside the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Marshawn's development, though, he was a, a Tim Welsh recruit, yep. played that first year, I think, with Tim as a freshman. But I remember that he had a buzzer beater against Cincinnati, at Cincinnati, that we thought, wow, this kid is raw, but he's got some ability. And Marshawn, I think, did more with some of the raw ability that he had that he came to school with than maybe any other good friars ever played. Yeah, and he really developed, too, because I remember when Tim Welsh uh, recruited him, looked like a baby cult when he came in. Yeah. He was very young. He was only 18 years All old. All arms and legs, All though, arms right? and legs. Yeah. And, but Tim said he wants to be a point guy. I said, point guy? He's 6'7". He says, yeah, he wants to do that, and he has a good jump shot. So as he developed, got better and better, and, I mean, he became a scoring machine. And, you know, the 52 he had against Notre Dame in the dunk uh, was, was unbelievable. But now, you look at what he's done. I mean, he's, been, he's persevered. He, he played in the NBA for a little while. It was actually a double-digit score with the Nets. And then... Fell out of the NBA and the, 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 went to China and kicked butt, and then came back, and now he's playing with the Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies. He's yeah. one of those guys off the bench, so you got to give Marshawn a lot of credit. But there's a guy who developed, and it was another Providence player under the radar. And you talk about the great players that come out of Providence; they were always guys like under the radar. You can put Murdoch in there, you can put Ryan Gomes in there, you put Marshawn Brooks in there. He came from Georgia that's, up to Providence. That speaks to the development that Providence basketball has given with a lot of their great players over the years. This program is always taking the time to develop its players. So you don't have to be the creme de la creme. You can still be pretty good, come to Providence, develop, and turn out like those guys, which is tremendous. It is tremendous, and it's good coaching, recruiting-wise, as well as you know, guys recognizing they're being smart enough to go to a place where they didn't go with their AAU brethren, the three guys going yeah, to the yeah. same school and nobody can play. If you right. can bring in three John Rooks who play about the same, you're all going to play 10 minutes a game. <laughs> what good is that? You know, John Lenahan comes to Providence. I get 10 minutes a game. Yeah, well, you can maybe get five. <laughs> maybe. As long as the team's up by 40. <laughs> That's I like that role. <laughs> I like that role. I'm actually good with that. Know your role. That, yeah. that part I know where I'm wrong. But a guy like Lenny is another perfect yeah. example. I mean, there was a lot of teams that didn't want him because he was too small. Providence takes him, he turns into a monster. So that's been great. And then Marshawn Brooks is a great example of that. And now he's turned himself into a great NBA player.